10 meters is open. It's time to build an antenna. I've got this 64 to 1. I've made this antenna before. Um, I got this on uh, Amazon. It's made in China. And uh, it, hey, it works. 64 to 1 antenna. I'm going to build this antenna that I've uh, built before. A halfway vertical uh, for 10 meters and see how we do here. I'm next to the water. I am in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Being a Portsmouth guy myself from Portsmouth, Virginia, pretty neat to visit uh, Portsmouth, Rhode Island here. I, uh, the namesake, and like I said, being a, a Portsmouth boy and living in my hometown of Portsmouth, Virginia, it's kind of cool to visit another town that's named after the Portsmouth, Portsmouth, England, uh, home of the Royal Navy and, um, and home of Pompey, Portsmouth FC the uh, football club there. Um, kind of cool for me. It, got, it means a lot. I was born in Portsmouth, Virginia. So to visit another Portsmouth, how cool is that? I'm going to put the antenna up. I'll show you where I'm at. I'm right by the water here and, um, and we'll get on 10 and see how it is today. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup. Here we are in Portsmouth, and there's the Jeep, and I've got my uh, flagpole holder with my DX Commander 10 meter expedition pole, and then way up there, about halfway up, is the 64 to 1, and I'm using 16 gauge speaker wire uh, cut for a half wavelength for the 10 meter band. So. Um, there you go. There's some power lines across and there's lighting over there, but this looks like a pretty good spot here, this little beach area. And uh, kind of quaint, kind of cool. I like it. A little rocky beach. The cool thing is, right across the road there, it's a very, very popular and famous place called Flo's Drive-In. Been there since the 30s, and it is a little seafood shack. And when I'm done here, you know what I'm going to do. Head over there. Let's get in the Jeep here and I'll show you the, uh, the rig and what we're going to do. And here in the Jeep, I'm using the uh, Redivus Alliance HS4. You guys may also recognize it as an Anytone 5555 Plus, I guess we said. Um, I'm using 50 foot of coax and choking it at this end because this antenna does not require a counterpoise, but it really is using the uh, coax as a counterpoise there. Um, also, for the first time, it's last time I used a uh, the car the Jeep battery, I'm using a 10 amp hour battery this time on this. So here we go. Let's uh, let's tune around and see uh, see how things are going here today. Kilo four, Golf Radio Oscar, secured. Kilo four, Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar Golf Oscar. QSL, you are 5, 9, plus 10 into Rhode Island, Rhode Island. Thank you for 10 over I, Rhode Island, Walt. My name is Lauro, and uh, you're 59 in Italy, over. Hey, thanks for the 59 in Italy. 40 watts portable here, 40 watts portable. Thank you so much. 40 watts portable. Excellent. 73, thank you. Thank you. 73. Thank you, India. Kilo 4, Gold Radio. Victoria 3, Zulu, Yankee, Bravo. Call in turn and bye. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Uh, kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, hello. Thank you very much for your call and good afternoon. You're 5-9 for my log, real 5-3, in this moment, in all this city, name Fred, Foxtrot Radio Echo Delta, over. Hey, thank you, Fred. The name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're 5-9 into Rhode Island, USA. I'm portable, 40 watts. Roger, Roger, Walt, in this, in this last over, you're picking S728, 728 in northeast of Italy. Congratulations for your portable setup. Thank you very much for the reply, Walt, and enjoy your weekend And 73. K4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Italy, Victoria 3, Zulu, Yankee. You ready, Brad? Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Kilo 4, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Germany, Oscar. Kilo 4, Ontario, Germany, Oscar, 5-9. QSL, you're 59 to Rhode Island, USA. Thank you. 59 Rhode Island. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 73. Interesting propagation. Really crazy. Um, Europe, pretty cool. I mean, I was in between the hours of uh, 17 and 18 UTC. Um, so, um, makes sense. Uh, Europe didn't hear hardly any South America, which was a little strange. I mean, if I did hear some, it was uh, other people trying to break in. I heard a lot of the Middle East, a um, couple uh, Israel stations, 
um, Kuwait. Uh, and I just, the pileups were so massive. And you hear all these great calls in, and I'm like, I want to go, people, spread out and call CQ, man. I want to get my logbook. But um, yeah, it was uh, like two or three. It was a, a Kuwait and a couple um, Israeli uh, calls in there that just had massive pileups. I tried to break in, I just couldn't do it. And um, I don't have a whole lot of patience for pileups. I'll give it a minute or two, and then I'm on to the next thing when I'm hunting. Um, I, I don't need the contact that bad, but um, yeah, that's where it was at. So um, this is a fun antenna and, and easy, super easy to build. I built this with um, this uh, here, the uh, the Amazon 64 to one. I've also built it with the Xtenna, the um, switchable 49, 56 and 64 to one. Um, and with that one I tested, that's kind of how I came to the conclusion that a 64 to one is the absolute, absolutely the ratio for um, halfway for 10 meters and it works well. It works real, I mean, no tuner, no problems. And you saw I was making uh, good contacts with some good signal reports as well. So um, if you're interested uh, in making this, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I've got a really nice 11 meter radio coming. I've got the, um, the uh, President uh, George, President George FCC, so total, completely legal um, radio. I think I'm going to build this, cut the length for a half wave, half a, uh, yeah, half wavelength for um, somewhere around 27385, which is channel 38 uh, in the LSB, the skip area of that, and probably try this same antenna out uh, once I get that radio. A very similar situation. Conditions are just now starting to get good here in the Northern Hemisphere, especially up this high in the New England on um, on 10 meter band. So um, the day was a good day. I looked at the, before I came out here, and the reason I did, I looked at the uh, maximum usable frequency and we were well up in there. I was like, okay, day's gonna be a good 10 meter day. I'm really looking forward to more 10 meter days. And um, it was nice to get out with this uh, HS4 again, or, any, or the 555 plus, whatever you wanna call it. Fun radio to play with, it really is. I'm, uh, I got no complaints on the radio. If you're interested, I, th I got this one given to me, I did a video on it, but um, uh, 199 bucks from uh, Redivus, it was really, really worth it. Uh, I, and you can see, um, uh, I say I keep saying 40 watts, I think it's probably putting out 35, somewhere in that neighborhood, but um, yeah, great radio and a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna go get something to eat. Here we go, Flo's Drive-In. This place looks great, lobster rolls, chowder, stuffies. Let's go see what's on the menu. I love these walk up to the window places and uh, gonna enjoy it before it gets too cold here and when it gets cold we'll start going indoors for the, uh, the eating here but this is wonderful. Okay, here we go here's the menu featured on the Travel Channel Food Network Cooking Channel and now Coastal Waves and Wires. I think I might go with uh, fish and chips here let me see. I figure it out. I might change my mind when I get up there. Doesn't that look amazing? Uh, yeah, fish and chips, coleslaw. Uh, got some uh, clam cakes there too. Got three of those. And um, yeah, I may be an American, but um, DNA wise, I'm 100% English. So uh, yeah, you know it's going with the malt vinegar. Let's dig in. Okay, fish is delicious. Coleslaw is great. Chips with it. Got the malt vinegar on everything. One true traditional here. Um, clam cakes, they're really good as well. Uh, this is definitely uh, well worth the stop. And this was a good call. Oh, wow, that was great. I don't think I've had fish and chips that good or that I enjoyed that much. This is last time I was in London and I was uh, on the street. Uh, very magical girl of mine and I were, uh, we, we spent some time in London and uh, we went and got, uh, we had to do it. The last time we were there, we went and got fish and chips on the street and enjoyed that. And now all I wish is I could roll up into a pub and have a nice pint of John Smith's extra smooth. <laughs> I might have to stop on the way back and find something close to it. That's probably my favorite uh, uh, pub brew. And you cannot get that in the United States, only in the UK. So my UK friends, John Smith's uh, extra smooth, man. Oh, it's, it's my favorite. It's uh, it's just so good. Anyway, enough about the food and everything. That antenna is easy to build, guys. Just um, a roll of tape and cut the wire, tape the thing to a pole. You don't even need, I used a 10 meter pole. You don't need that. You could put that up with a seven 
Um, I have my shorter Dix Commander 7 meter pole. I probably could have done it just as well with that. Um, conditions, I had a lot of um, QSB was going in and out or whatever, but still a great day. Things are getting better, and um, it really is a good time. A good time to be a ham and a good time to start using 10 meters here in the upcoming months for sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO73, my friends. See you soon.